Welcome, damen und Herren. It's Herr Zolfax here, and today I will be explaining to you how not to suck in the Panzerkampfwagen Sechstiger, or as the filthy capitalists call it, the Tiger H1. Today, I will be talking about the Tiga and realistic and simulated battles only. So let's get started, ya! Yeah? The Tiga is a tier dry German heavy panzer, a marvel of German engineering. Sitting at battle rating 5.7, it is the best German tank at its tier, and for a good reason. This monster is 6.3 meters long, 3.5 meters wide, and 3 meters tall. It weighs an extraordinary 57,320 kilos. But its size and weight are not what makes this heavy panzer so good, oh my god, nein! It's the armor and the cannon that make it so good! The armor of this beast is 102 mm at the front of the hull, 82 to 62 at the sides of the hull, and 82 at the back of the hull, and the turret. The turret is compromised of many different armor plates and is arguably even stronger than the hull itself. But the best part of this Panzer is its cannone. Equipped with the awesomely powerful 88mm Kampfwagone Cannone 36L56, no Panzer at its battle rate extends a chance of enduring its might. Well, in theory at least, but in practice, eh, not so much. But yeah, yeah, it is very, very mighty. The first rule of driving the Tiga is knowing yourself and your opponent. The Tiga is a heavy panzer, not a medium panzer or a light panzer. So please, for the love of the Führer, do not rush the town in Poland or any other urban environment for that matter. The Tiga performs best at range, where its armor is most effective and its cannon outperforms the enemy's cannons. If you must engage in close quarters combat, don't rush it. Take your time and check all the corners while constantly checking your behinds. And always, always pre-angle your armor. Which brings us to the second rule of driving the Tiger. While the Tiger's armor is a solid 100mm at the front of the hull, it will not stop the Communist 85 or the Capitalist 76mm cannons. But if you angle your armor in an efficient manner like the true German you are, you will become a moving fortress. Since the turret is so well protected, you need only to angle your hull as it is displayed on the screen right now. If you angle your hull like this, with the corner of your hull pointing towards the enemy, there are only a few panzers that can efficiently penetrate you, and the panzers such as the T-34 and the 76mm Shermans are only a threat at close ranges. The perfect angling of the Tiga will give you round about 130mm of effective hull armor, but you need to be aware that sometimes enemy panzers come out of nowhere, so you need to try and pre-angle your armor when coming around corners. And also, you can't angle your armor against more than one panzer at a time, so you need to choose your battles wisely. The third rule of driving the Tiga is when you get penetrated and you can still move your panzer, you need to turn around and get out of there. What are you doing? What are you still sitting there? Get out of there! Get to the chopper! Now! Get out of there! To cover! I meant cover! Get to cover! Like seriously, the Tiger has neutral steering, so you can rotate on this part and get the hell out of there! The fourth rule of driving the Tiger is there is no fourth rule. That's all you need to know. Don't rush into urban areas, don't force close quarters combat, stay at range where your armor and your cannon are most effective, and always, always angle your armor to the nearest possible threat. This concludes this short lesson. My name has been Solfax, hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you next time.